Almost every news outlet has pretty aggressively supported recent gun control protests for providing one-sided forums to protesters to push their view and excluding anyone who disagrees or, in fact, attacking them for questioning the decency of children. How could you? But on Monday afternoon, NBC went further than that. One of the reporters outright urged his viewers to go online and sign a pledge to vote for anti-gun candidates. It happened. Here's the tape. There's also a push called Parents Promise to Kids that encourages voters to sign a contract vowing to vote for candidates who, as they describe it, put child safety ahead of guns. I'm joined now by two of the students who started Parents Promise to Kids. Again, to those watching, you Thank can check you. out Adam and Zach's contract at their website, parentspromisetokids.org. Download it, print it, sign it, and post it. We thank you all, and we wish you luck in your effort. How long before they're, like, sending out directions to Planned Parenthood? Probably not long. Well, supposedly, marches against guns are about speaking truth to power, even though they enjoy massive support from virtually everyone in power. Lawmakers, school administrators, the media, the business community, basically every billionaire on the planet, decide to protest on another issue, though, that's not aligned with the people in power who would like to take your guns away and keep them for themselves, disempower you, as it were and see what happens if you try to challenge the conventional view of anything. Julianne Bensel tried to